Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post. We've got a couple tiny products to talk about this week, so let's see what they are. First up, we've got a new servo motor. The box makes it look a lot bigger than it is, but this is actually an ultra nano size. So as you can see, this is a very tiny servo motor. The interesting thing that I'll point out about this motor is that it seems to be a continuous rotation, but it's actually not. Because this is so tiny, the feedback potentiometer doesn't actually engage in it when it's off. So this will spin 360 degrees, but then when you turn it on, it actually finds a neutral position and then is engaged. So this is not a continuous rotation. Um, this guy has 11.1 .1 ounce inch worth of torque, so it's actually pretty decent for the size. This only works at 4.8 volts, so I wouldn't recommend using this at 6 volts. The other nice thing about this is it actually does have the um, bimetal carbonite gear, so it actually does not have plastic gears, which is pretty cool. To demonstrate our new nano size servo, I decided to put together a very basic remote control plane. I took some balsa wood from the local hobby shop and I cut out a template for a balsa wood glider. And then I took some rubber band airplane parts, slapped those on for a little bit of propulsion, and then added our new nano size servo, which controls the ailerons and the rudder of the airplane. As you can see, the nano size servo is barely thick as the plane fuselage itself, which comes in real handy when you don't want things sticking out into the wind and knocking off the aerodynamics of your airplane. I've also connected it to one of our boost converters, which brings this uh, lithium polymer battery up to voltage to run this RC receiver. And those are the only parts you need basically to get some remote control over a uh, flying vehicle. Let's do it. That, that was all right, actually. One, two, three. All right, sweaty, let her rip. Wonder whose car I hit. No, you actually didn't, but it was really close. Sweaty, let her rip. So I'm going to level with you. I'm not an aerospace engineer. I did fly small planes in high school, but that's way different from building hobby airplanes. So I got a little bit of control in there. You could see I could steer it left and right, but ultimately the wind took over and uh, luckily I missed all the cars in the parking lot. So that's the nano size servo from high tech. So let's talk shape memory alloys. Um, shape memory alloys are very interesting materials. They're a combination of different metals that when you heat them up, they actually go back to the shape that they were last in when they were last heated. So let's say you take this wire thing, right? You bend it all up and then you apply heat to it, it's gonna to return to its resting state or the state that it was at the last time it was heated up. So it's pretty cool. You can do a lot of different things with this in terms of um, moving things. Um, you can embed them into papers, you can bundle them up, and when you apply power, they will actually move. So we call these muscle wires. Um, here's an example of the two that we've got this week. We got them in two different sizes. Um, these are both one foot in length and we've got a diameter of 12 thousandths and 5 thousandths of an inch. So here is the thicker wire. All we've done is we've just kind of crimped on some little connectors on the end just to make it a little easier to connect to. And this is kind of the resting state. Um, so this was the state that it was at the last time it was heated up. So if I take this and actually bend it all up like that, uh, it's ruined, it's completely bent. Well, all I have to do is hook this up, connect power to it, and it will actually just, boom, spring into the shape that it was last in. And I'm gonna turn this on, and there we go. So it immediately returns to its previous state. So I can unhook this, and there it is. Now this does get kinda hot when you turn it on because it's drawing like over an amp worth. So theoretically, when this was hot, I could bend it into that jumbled shape, right? And then turn off the power, and then straighten that out, and then when I apply power, it's gonna go back to that jumbled shape. So that is why these are called shape memory alloys, is because they actually want to return 
to the state that they were in when they heated up and then cooled down. So it's always going to want to go back to that shape when you apply heat or in this case apply electricity to it which with the resistance of the wire creates heat. The bigger and the thicker one here has a force of about 2.2 pounds. So the other thing that I did mention about these is that when you heat them up or pass power through them, they actually shrink overall. In addition to changing their shape, they're also going to deform or shrink three to four percent of their total length. And that shrinking or the force that they have when pulling in for this one is about two and a half or 2.25 pounds, about two and a quarter pounds. And then with this guy, it's about a half a pound. So this one obviously has a lot less force to it. But both of them shrink about three to four percent. There's a lot of technical details about these, and we have included a data sheet that is actually for Flexanol or Nitinol, which is kind of the Kleenex brand name of this. This is kind of a knockoff of that, but essentially they are the same thing. It's a 50% um, titanium and 50% nickel composition, and that makes your alloy. So anything with a 50-50 mix alloy should operate in the same way. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do with these. You can use these to operate simple levers. As I said before, you could even embed them into paper to have the paper fold itself when voltage is applied. Or you can use these to, um, you know, connect different joints and actually have them pull in. You know, anything that you would use a solenoid or a motor for, you could substitute this in for it instead. So there you have it, shape, memory, alloy, or muscle wire. So there you have it. We have a couple very small products this week. Um, as always, we have more new products on the website. So go ahead and check out sparkfun.com for the rest of the new products that we have. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products. And give it a, a gentle, semi-downward toss. <laughs> <laughs>